Audio recording for this meeting has begun. Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Wilmer. Welcome back to the Accessibility Tool in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. So part one covered the basics and the theory behind, you know, using all these tools in the Accessibility Tool. But today for part two, we're going to cover some examples of how to make a document more accessible, some more practical examples using the tools provided. So we got Meridian, our Meridian sample document open just like this. And let's run the full check on it. Let's just see what's wrong with it. So logical reading order. These two note that these two things over here, logical reading order and color contrast, these will always require a manual check. So you'll just have to check these out yourself. That's just the same, that's just how it's going to be for any document. But right now we're going to be looking at alternate text. Now this thankfully is a very simple process. Well, assuming we don't have this many logos to set alt text for. But yeah, so we can simply click set alternate text to set the alternate text for figures that require it. So notice we have the this image over here highlighted, which is the Meridian Inc. logo. So we can just type in our alt text. And we can save it and close it. So we're just going to check it again. Now, to, now notice that we only have 12 things that require alternate text. So that's just the way that works. I'm not going to go. Ahead, I'm not going to bother and fix it for every one of these. But that's just the gist of how to set alt text for a document. Logical reading order. That's pretty easy. Color contrast. So let me just open up our little contrast checker website. Drag it over here. So one of the things you have to check manually is the color contrast. So what we would do in this case is we would take the RGB value of this color and this text. So we'd have white text on a blue background like this. And we would test it out. And so let's get that. Let's fetch that value real quick. I'm over here in a different monitor just looking at this and fetching the RGB value, 79, 129, 188. Mm -hmm. And we just want white text, so that's all Fs. OK, so as you can see, this is exactly what our document looks like for this little summary. So this is what our text looks like, white text, baby blue background. And notice that it will fail some of these criteria. So for large text, so for the 18 size text, it will pass it because the contrast is sufficient. But for the smaller text sizes, it will fail. And so I chose this example because just to show you that it's important that you manually check this for any colors in order for your document to be fully accessible because, you know, it's got a blue question mark. It's not a big red scary X. So it's tempting to just manually pass it just like that. But you really you really can't cut quarters with that. You have to check out every color combination to ensure that your document is fully ac accessible. Now, moving on to our next document. We're just going to, well, first we're going to identify our form fields. So, but now we're going to go back into accessibility and we're going to run our full check. So, what's wrong with this? Our form fields are not properly tagged. That's what's wrong. So, we could manually add these. See, we could manually add these fields into the tag structure, but I prefer not to. I like just to go to the tag structure, get rid of it, everything, and start from scratch. So we can auto tag our document, run our full check to regenerate that tag structure, and now our form fields are properly tagged. That's a good thing to try to check out just to fix that issue. If you have some things that aren't properly tagged, just get rid of the tags and try again. Now we have to set some alternate text. We've done that already. Now let's look at this table over here. So our tables over here lack summaries. So the way we'd fix this is go into reading order, right click, edit table summary, and give it a summary. Mm -hmm. Now we just check it again. And now only one of our tables is missing a summary. Brilliant. So the last issue I'd like to cover in fixing accessibility, this is just the most commonly 
encounter issues that I tend to run into. Uh, last of these is the headings. So what's the issue here? So our element over here is the title of our document. So we have a nesting failure. So what this means is within the tag structure, uh, Acrobat takes its tag structure very seriously. So it wants it wants every all your headings to be properly nested. So a heading one is the parent of a heading two, which is the parent of a heading three, et cetera. Now, whenever you have an isolated heading four, like we do right now, Acrobat doesn't like that. But this is a very simple fix. We just got to double click the tag, change it from an H4 to an H1, enter. And now we have a heading one, so our nesting is proper. So let's go back into the full check, check it, and it's fixed. So yeah, those are just some of the more commonly encountered accessibility issues. This is by no means comprehensive. Accessibility is a very deliberate, slow process when making your, in the process of making your documents accessible, you have to just go one by one until everything is fully accessible about your document. But yeah, thanks so much for watching everybody. Tune in next time to when we'll be looking at the Create Custom Tools and we'll be finishing out my series on Acrobat's tools with the Customize section of tools. But until then, thanks for watching and take care.